like we live in a dome. Because gravity <laughs> makes things into a ball. When they do the vacuum chamber test. Whoa! I'm vlogging in the woods again. Here we are. We're back at Iron Mountain with the minivan, Mercedes minivan, and a Jeep and the Rover. My truck's not here. You'll see it in the next video. Well, maybe, well, you'll see it. You'll see it again. I thought about camping out here and really pranking somebody. There's a really beautiful overlook, and you can see. You can see the oh, the <laughs> how flat the earth is. Yeah, I love it. This is true. Uh, this is the first time I've ever been off road in a Land Rover. I know it's uh, almost sacrilegious when you own a Land Cruiser, but I gotta say this thing actually has good cup holders. At the very least, at the very least, and lots of headroom. Follow the trail of dust. See, when they do the vacuum chamber test with the feather and the bowling ball, yeah. the only thing that's changed is the pressure, not gravity. What it's pressure? the air pressure inside the chamber. It's There's the only no, thing that they, they can said, vacuum. They, they can't vacuum, vacuum out. They can't vacuum out gravity. So when it falls at the same time, the only thing they eliminated was air. 
yeah. pressure. So there is still gravity. No, there's pressure. What pressure of what? Well, it's 14.7 psi. in a dome it's pressurized what's there is a pump no so it's, what's pressurizing it it's yeah, there you go there you go know, there but, it go. but it ain't gravity because <laughs> gravity makes things into a ball yeah that's why all the planets are balls the sun is flat <laughs> Austin did. Sorry, Austin. That was just the branch. Don't worry about it. The branch. It's a whole tree. Your wheels are locked hard right. Yep, I can't turn the wheel. I mean, you're still over that log, but there, now it's come out. Ow! Hey, 
Hey, stay, stay left. Put your left front on that big rock. Yeah, take, hey, take this left line. Take, take this way out. He's going to come right up there. Hey, why do you need rock gliders again? Well, you know Austin never needed them. up on a rock here. Okay, straighten the wheel. There you go. Gently. Ah, uh, you're off of it. No, you can't. You already have to go a long way over there. Yeah, it's uh, straight. Wheel straight. Cause you're gonna you're gonna slip off that rock that way. I wouldn't. Right there, that's that's way too much already. I'm stuck on that rear axle. Look at that, he smacked that steering. Oh no, this one or uh, this one? This one? Yeah. Oh yeah. That's the big one. The one he was never going to get over. That extra inch inch would make a difference. Extra inch always makes a difference. the show. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm continuously impressed with this thing. Okay, we're at Iron Mountain again, and we're finally on our first red trail, which is the hardest difficulty for the 4x4 stuff. And uh, it's really, honestly, it just looks, oh, it's just mud, oh, geez, with uh, wolf, like footprints. So, there's wolves, oh, this is, this is gonna be horrendous. with some speed. You should have heard the thunder building the closer you got. I would back up. 
Oh, uh, just back up. That block messes it up. Yeah. started earlier with the speed yeah that's this is a moment you know <clears throat> I, I'm sure if you're watching this video you've probably watched plenty of other off-road videos and they all mention and I'll mention it and I've mentioned it before and I'll mention it again that you never see how steep a hill is on a video is this steep or is this jump change no, it's pretty steep yeah I know it's beautiful out here now. The other side, the other one is actually Oh, there was some lightning. You know, the wind is blowing at us, and that storm is that way in this same direction that the wind is blowing from. Whoa! Got that on video. Very, uh, very heavy in the back. I think I see some red there. Red? Like red trail? No, like red. Oh, oh for their truck. Yeah, yeah, it's at the top. All right, so the rain finally caught up with us. And uh, we just found us a big, sloggy, slimy old mud hole. The left? Oh, I'm saying oh, there's turn, a trail turning to the left. left, so I don't know if it comes from there. Well, I see that the thing says trail. I see four by four. Oh, that's side by side. Um, that one I can't tell because there is, oh, there is red on the yeah. top. So where is that leading to? Should we even try? Yeah, we should try. Yeah, why not? It's just mud. How bad can it be? What's the worst that will happen? We get wet feet and Jeff pulls us out of his winch? Sure. Yeah, I mean, it, yeah, it's a green trail. How hard can it be? You know? We immediately roll over onto the side. Yeah, that's pretty much what I expected. Okay, it poured rain, and now we're doing donuts on a, on a green trail that just dead-ended. It just dead-ended in Donutville. Ready? I'm ready. I just realized it's just gonna sling mud all over me. I'm gonna stand back a bit. Hey, put put it in four wheel drive. Maybe you'll get like uh, Evo donuts. This is the kind of where you get stuck on flat ground. <laughs> 